Hey, you got the captain, Captain Fuzzy here, and I am going to do a tutorial to show all of you out there that don't know how to do this, how to convert an MP3 audio file for use in Source Filmmaker. So first things first, let's find an audio, audio file. And for this, I'm going to use some royalty-free music that I've downloaded that I sometimes use in my tutorials, live streams, that sort of thing. I think I'm going to convert this one. Now, as you can see, it's a MP3. If I click on it, it does play. It works. It sounds good. So, I want to convert this to use it for a video in Source Filmmaker. And... While I am going to use Adobe Audition to do this, uh, it can be done basically the same way in any um, audio editing software. Uh, Audacity is probably one of the absolute best free audio editors out there. The reason I'm using Adobe Audition is because I already own it, and I actually own the suite because my day job, I'm a freelance video editor, so I use these programs <laughs> in my day job. So that's why I have them. So anyway, here we go. I've got the file, the Hot Rod MP3, opened up in Adobe Audition. And of course, I, again, it still plays. So we've got a working file here. Now what we want to do is we want to convert this into a format that Source Filmmaker can use. Source Filmmaker does not like MP3s. So, in order to convert this, I am going to select Edit, and then I'm going to go down to Select and Select All. And what that does, that highlights the entire file. So now, whatever I do is going to convert the entire file. So, okay, once I've got it selected, then I want to go up here and click on File, Save Selection As. Now, depending on your software, it may not automatically come up with these settings. Uh, in fact, in most cases, it won't, because I've actually altered this beforehand. But what you will do is you will come in here and you will select this first and make sure that you have Wave PCM selected. Then, you'll come down to the sample type. I use 44.1 kHz or 44,100 Hz 16-bit stereo. However, that can be changed in here. You can use, from what I understand, anywhere from this one to this one. Anywhere in this range right here, you can use any of these. However, personal experience here, I find that 44100 gives me the best sound quality while still being a format that Source Filmmaker can read. So that's the one that I use. So that one is optional. You can change it to whatever. Stereo is optional as well. But if you're going to do music or something like that, you probably want to use stereo. Uh, this is the important one here, the bit depth. 16-bit. That is the only one that will work in Source Filmmaker. So, you cannot select any of these other ones and expect it to work, because chances are it won't. 16-bit is it. So, once you have it all set up like that, then all you have to do is click OK. It's set up. Now, uh, in my case here, and a lot of other video editing uh, or audio setting editing software um, I'm having a little uh, trouble talking today sorry uh, it was a long weekend um, location of where you're gonna save it this may or may not be show up in the software that you use but if it does I have a custom folder already set up so I can just click browse go to my source filmmaker install to my custom folder and I have a sound folder in here already and so I can open that up and this is where I'm going to drop my um, sound file 
And since it's going to be a WAV file anyway, I'm not going to bother changing the name of it. I'm just going to hit save. So now we've got it all set. All we've got to do is hit OK and let Audition or Audacity, whatever program you're using, hit it and let it do its thing. And that quick, it has been converted to a WAV file. So now, let's double check, make sure everything went where it was supposed to. So I'm going to go into local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, source filmmaker, game, and my custom folder here, and into my sound folder, and here we go. Here's my WAV file. This is a peak file that Adobe Audition generates as part of the project. Uh, it's not really needed and can be deleted if you happen to use Audition. Um, I'm not super familiar with how uh, Audacity saves its files, so you may or may not see something like this alongside. But if you do, as long as you don't delete the WAV file itself, you can delete whatever else is there, and it probably won't hurt anything. So, just to test it, there we go. There is my working WAV file. But, here's the kicker. Does it work in Source Filmmaker? Well, let's find out. Uh, Source Filmmaker does take a few minutes to boot up, so in that case, what I am going to do is pause until Source Filmmaker is up and running. So I will be right back after this. Okay, we've got Source Filmmaker up and running. This is a test map that I usually use, or a test session rather, that I normally use to test new models and stuff out and make some of my tutorials. I'm sure that most of you that have watched my guides and tutorials have seen my favorite little spaceman here. But don't worry, we're not doing anything with him today. We're just testing an audio file out. So, okay, I've got my session loaded up. Let's go down here to Music, right-click on it, and select Add Clip to Track. Now, once we open this up, oh, looky, here we go. There is the file that I want. And, of course, if you click on it in this window, it should start playing it automatically. It's kind of a preview. We're going to go ahead and select it and add it to my clip down here. And now if I play here, it should play the file. And as you can see, the file works in Source Filmmaker. So that's a, really, that's all there is to it. It's that simple, easy process. If you run into any snags, hang-ups, not really sure if you did something right, by all means, leave a message below. Uh, you can contact me on the Source Filmmaker message boards. You can contact me through my profile. Uh, I can also be contacted through my YouTube channel, the link for which is in my Steam profile. And with that... You got the captain, Captain Fuzzy, and I am out of here.